Cuban percussion tradition is the chequere. It's an instrument that's made out of a gourd, like a squash or pumpkin that grows on a vine and dries on the vine. And you cut off the top and empty out the seeds, put a net of beads on the outside. And um, they're fun instruments to make also. One of the things, though, I want to recommend to you if you get into making the chequere, I want to uh, give you some advice. Because uh, some of us who started making these when we were young, we didn't know we were trying to make them just from what we saw. And you have to get the inside clean, as clean as you can, all the seeds, all the stuff out. And uh, we tried to, you know, get all that stuff out by making instruments out of metal, out of hangers, out of wood, and scratching the inside. We put water inside and got, made a mess and trying to get everything out. We put burning objects inside and trying to burn <laughs> the stuff out. And none of that worked really very well. So one day I got the brilliant idea to give a quarter to my five-year-old nephew, and he stuck his whole arm in there and just pulled everything out. <laughs> There's no problem. So keep that in mind. <laughs> his nephew is 6'5 now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, this instrument is one that is used all over Africa by different names. Um, in the Afro-Cuban tradition, it used to be used only for spiritual-based music, but now it's used in all types of popular music. It can be played by tapping it, like so. Also by shaking it, you get a, a louder sound, shaking the net. And also it has a tone because it's hollow on the inside. It has a, a tonality like a drum, a resonance by striking it on the bottom. So we use all those sounds to create different rhythms.
Thank you very much. Before we continue, do you have any questions for us about any of this?